welcome back to the channel, Jamie Frank Colors. Maybe we'll color if my camera will focus. Focus on me, please. I need the attention. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hello, you guys. Welcome to the channel, Jamie Frank Colors. We are in the creepy season, that spooky season, that wonderful time of the year. Oh, no, yeah, 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 because it's fall. Okay, so <laughs> I thought we should color in this cute and creepy coloring book by Camilla D'Areco because, my goodness, there's so many awesome pictures in here. They're so cool. Look, we have cute little guys. We've got monsters. Yeah, mad scientists. Yes. We are here for it. There's so many cool stuff in this book. I think we colored this one last year. Yeah, because my mom didn't like it because of the spiders. She's against spiders. So we're not gonna color spiders today. You're welcome, mom. We are going to color this awesome girl. Look at her. Look, she's not scary at all, okay? It's not gonna be, it's fine. It's gonna be okay, guys. Look at this beautiful picture. All right, I think I love to use Pam Pastels in her books. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab some, a couple of pastels. We're not even gonna need that many, but I'm gonna grab a few. I have found some colors. We're gonna start with yellow ochre tint and I'm gonna take a soft tool and we're going to put some on her face. Just gonna have fun. We're just gonna throw some color around, you guys. It's just gonna be easy peasy. Oh, come on. Would you focus? Focus. I need attention, please. Okay. All right. Well, we'll focus on my hand. My hand is so important. Let me tell you. All right, I'm just putting down a nice beads coat. She kind of has a floating hand. We're just gonna go with it. Okay. All right, then I'm going to take, let's take this. This is Burnt Sienna Extra Dark. I'm gonna take it and put it in some shadows. Put some down on her neck here, and then we have to have some on her hand as well. Get those shadows on there. It's so much fun, I love it. Okay, just going to kind of clean that off, our soft pastel off a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in, mm, okay. We will take the Burnt Sienna shade I don't want to use too much of this, but we're going to use a little. Especially right there on her eyelid. And then we're going to go back in with that yellow ochre tint, that really light yellow color that we have going on here as the base. And we're going to take it and blend all of these out blend them together. Okay, I'm gonna clean off my tool again and go back in so that it's nice and clean. Okay, and I'm gonna clean it again and then I'm gonna go in with a clean, as clean as it can be. Okay, let's grab a touch of, this is the Red Iron Oxide Tint. Just gonna grab a titch of that because she does have some little lips right here. So we'll put a little color there for her lips. Just a little bit there. So nice. Okay. And then cute. Look how cute she is already. I love it. Okay, if they're pastel anywhere that you don't want it, grab an eraser and erase it because it will clean right up 
It's glorious. We love it. And I have just a little mono eraser here. So we can, oh, you know what I didn't grab? I didn't grab anything for her kimono. Maybe this is the girl from Gr the ring. She's cutting her hair. Or maybe it's the girl from Grudge. Okay, yeah, that pastel just cleans right up. If you got it anywhere you don't want it, don't fret. Okay. All right. What other color should we use? Okay. Um, I grabbed some ultra marine, ultramarine blue extra dark. And we're gonna put some of that in her hair just so we have a little blue tint to her hair. Cause her hair is pretty dark, it's pretty black, but we want a little color in it. I'm putting this on, I'm thinking about what color her sh kimono should be. Or we could do like a, a chartreuse kind of green. Hmm. Ooh, we could do, I know what we should do. We should do like a turquoise kind of color. Yes, that's what we should do. Okay. All right, then I'm going to grab the ultramarine t blue tint to go in these lighter areas. Okay, then I'm gonna clean off my sponge. And blend that together. We have some natural gray. This is no, this is Payne's Gray. Isn't this Payne's Gray? Yeah, this is Payne's Gray Extra Dark. We're gonna grab some of that. Put in these scissors. Okay, and then I'll grab this neutral gray tint and blend it out a little bit. Oh, you guys, there's a finger there. We missed a finger. It happens, it happens. Like there's a finger right there. Who knew? I didn't, obviously. Okay. I am loving it. Yeah, let's see here. I'm gonna take, this is turquoise. Let's dip into this. She'll have a nice, pretty kimono. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it mix with some of those grays and those blues in her hair. Just, we're not gonna be too picky or perfect here tonight. We're just having fun coloring this pretty girl. Oh, Sophie, you don't like our pretty girl? You're leaving us? Oh, hi, you're gonna come scratch me instead? I'm working, what are you doing? I'm playing with color. I can't abandon my color. No. You're silly. What? It's not 8.30 yet, you don't get anything yet. You gotta wait. Daddy will be home soon. Ah, you do. You want to go outside? You want me to hold you? How am I supposed to do pastels and hold you? 
Oh, you're gonna run off now, okay. Good luck with that. Still using that same color. Hi. <laughs> no. The answer's no. You have to wait. No, you have to wait. Okay, I'm gonna get the turquoise shade and we're going to just put a little shading into this turquoise. Oh, she's decided to go lay down again. Maybe we're gonna be good. <laughs> okay, so we have that pretty color. I really like it. Now I love this highlight, so I'm gonna clean off my sponge. And I'm gonna go into the tint, the turquoise tint. And we'll just kind of put that highlight there. Beautiful. Okay, then I grabbed some of the bright yellow green. This is just the regular color. And it is beautiful. We're gonna go in with some of it. It's chartreuse, it's beautiful. We love chartreuse around here. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that, just give us a real pretty pop. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, and we will do that here as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna just grab that turquoise shade because it's still sitting here and we'll just shade with that color. It'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Put a little shade in there. Beautiful. All right, and then I'm going to take, let's take the ultramarine extra dark that we used in her hair. And let's just go ahead and put some of it down here. We'll go in with the ultramarine tint as well to lighten it up. Pull it out there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So pretty, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's grab, then I'm gonna grab the Burnt Sienna Extra Dark. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that and put in her eyes. Ooh, she is a cutie. She is a cutie. You almost forget your coloring in a Halloween book. She's so cute. Okay, I am gonna go spray her with a fixative because I have my pastel where I want it. I'm gonna make sure I have, that I've erased anything I want erased. Because once you spray it with a fixative, it's not coming back up. So let me go fix this to the page and then we will take a look at her. Okay, she has been fixatived <laughs> to the page here. I'm gonna grab a paintbrush here and we're gonna go into this really pretty color we have here. Alizrin Crimson.
pretty she is. Oh my goodness. I love her. Ooh, don't touch. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you guys had so much fun. Um, it's that spooky time of the year. Get your pages out. Find a book you haven't colored in for a while and just have some fun. Throw some color around. Um, I hope you have an awesome week, an awesome weekend, that you relax, take some deep breaths, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.